Hi everyone, this is DM Now. I'm back with my second video uh, for this evening. And this one is a campaign diary. And uh, this is actually my 20th, uh, my 20th episode of Shadow of the Demon Lord Talk. I had no idea I would be carrying it on this long. Uh, 20 episodes seems like it should be a milestone, shouldn't it? 20? It's not 25. 25 would be better. 100 would be better. Uh, I'm still a long ways away from there, so um, we'll just say, yeah, 20 is a milestone, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, so, yay, yay me. Um, so, uh, yeah, Campaign Diary. This, uh, this one is going to be detailing the, uh, the fourth session of my current campaign. Uh, my current campaign being the Mother of Monsters. And it is a uh, campaign I um, uh, wrote around uh, an elder evil that came from one of my biggest inspirations, which is the Elder Evil's uh, D&D uh, supplement, which came out for the 3.5 edition of the game. And um, it was written by none other than Robert J. Schwab. And so it fits perfectly with um, Shadow of the Demon Lord. I actually talked about it in a previous video. And one of the monsters that's featured in that uh, supplement is the mother of monsters, Ragnara. And so Ragnara is a, um, uh, you know, basically she's called the mother of monsters, and it's because she gives birth to monsters. And so I wanted to use that concept in my, uh, in my uh, campaign, uh, or in a campaign. So that is uh, what this campaign is about. Um, started off with uh, the PCs escaping from the city of Cacris uh, during the orc uprising. Uh, they then were in the wilderness for quite some time, made their way to uh, the Huntsman's Isle, uh, where we played through that adventure. And from there, they were headed to the um, Confederacy of Nine Cities. Um, but they, they weren't really sure where in the Confederacy they were going to go. So I needed a buffer adventure to give me some time to, to figure out where they're going and to write an adventure for that. So this adventure that I am um, going to talk about tonight is the adventure that I developed um, as the buffer. Um, the goal here was to have a, an adventure that could be played in one session. So short, succinct, and I know all the Shadow of the Demon Lord um, adventures are supposed to be able to be played in one session, but not one of my sessions. One of my sessions only lasts three hours because I run a game online and with uh, adults with busy lives and about the most we can squeeze out of uh, a week is three hours on a Tuesday night. So that's what we play. Three hours on a Tuesday night. I can, uh, I can do you know, a fairly good amount in three hours, but I still can't, I can't get a full Schwab adventure done in three hours without cutting out a lot of stuff. And I don't want to cut out a lot of stuff. I like that stuff, you know, role playing and character development and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, it's fine. But for tonight's session, I wanted it done in one session. So I wrote this to be very short and sweet. And for my inspiration, I drew from a movie called Slither. Now, if you're not familiar with the movie Slither, I believe it's a James Gunn movie. And it features, um, uh, well, basically the plot is alien worms um, in invade a town and take over uh, the townsfolk and, um, you know, uh, body snatcher style, basically. And um, the, you know, the, the town is uh, trying to, uh, you know, get rid of this, uh, in, these invaders. So the, uh, I stole that idea, well, I copied it, some of it, uh, for my adventure. And so um, the heroes, when they first start, they're, they're traveling towards the Confederacy of the Nine Cities. And on the road, they encounter a clockwork uh, merchant that is being attacked by some goblins. So they help the, the clockwork 
uh, fend off the uh, the the attackers, and uh, the the clockwork it convinces them to um, uh, accompany him to the city that he's going to. Uh, not a city, but it's actually a village uh, that is called Norgertz, and um, it's a farming community. And his master, a an artificer, had been requisitioned to create a farming machine that would help this village compete with some of the larger villages in, in uh, the area uh, by mechanizing a lot of their um, farming. So he was delivering the components of this machine that this artificer built uh, for this town. And so the um, artificer was delivering it on three wagons. The wagons are automated. That drew the attention of the heroes because they've never seen a, a wagon that wasn't uh, uh, driven by some um, some animal. Uh, these wagons were were um, were being driven you know, under their own power because they were clockwork wagons uh, for the most part uh, or constructs. And so the um, you know the the PCs were intrigued by that, and uh, the the clockwork. Um, also offered to take them to whatever city in the nine in the Confederacy uh, if they helped, uh, you know, protect him uh, until he delivered his um, his master's uh, creation and collected. So they agreed, and so they all ride into the town of Norgertz, and the uh, it's a town that I made up. Incidentally, you're not going to find it in any of the uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord supplements uh, or adventures. So when the when the heroes arrive, they find all the townsfolk basically out partying in the streets, and they find this a bit unusual. But even more so, they find that the town folks are acting highly um, uh, what, unusual uh, behavior um, and inappropriate behavior. Uh, you know, people are having sex in the streets, and sex with animals, um, you know, eating, um, you know, killing, indiscrimin killing animals indiscriminately, uh, even trying to kill each other indiscriminately. It's just, you know, it, it really strange behavior. And so the PCs are, are you know, kind of worried by this, but they're trying to find the town elder and, who is the one that placed the order. And so the, uh, the, the wisdom of the town agrees to take them to the elder. And she claims that the elder's in the backyard uh, working on his garden. Well, you know, it's nighttime when they arrive, so it seems kind of odd uh, that he'd be in, working the garden in the dark. But they follow the, the elder into his backyard, and that's where they discover that the elder is this big, uh, grotesque uh, blob of a creature that is uh, basically just a host to, you know, thousands of these, uh, these worms. And so, uh, you know, he tries to, um, uh, he, he tries to, to uh, get the PC so that they can become infested with the worms. All the town folks are infested with worms. That's why they're acting so weird. Um, when the worm infests you, you lose all your inhibitions. And so they were just basically doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Um, no, no matter what, how crazy it is. And so, you know, that's why they're partying and doing all the inappropriate stuff. Um, so now the, uh, the town elder is trying to get the PCs infested. Uh, the PCs decide they don't want to be infested and they attack. Um, the town folk react to the elder being attacked. So they all start marching down the alley into the backyard. This big, um, swarm of worms, uh, comes to uh, the elder's defense, and so the PCs did something in this game that uh, I haven't seen my players do in a while, and that is, they decided they're going to retreat, but not before killing this, um, you know, this gross dude that just creeped them out. So what they did was they took they they took some uh, a vial of dragon fire that um, their resident alchemist had created for them. Uh, alchemist and PC that travels with them. And uh, they threw it in the shed that he is um, living in and basically blew it up. So, you know, the town elder was blown up. Um, that pisses off all of the infested um, townsfolk. And so they're after the PCs. The PCs decide uh, they've had enough. They get the hell out of Dodge and, um, you know, get back on their wagons and head back out of town. 
So in a nutshell, that is the adventure. Um, it was fun. The whole point of this uh, adventure, again, was just to uh, buy me some time so that I could figure out where they were headed next and write an adventure for that. So mission accomplished there. I also wanted to kind of gross them out with this um, this this um, adaptation of the uh, Slither movie. And uh, mission accomplished there, too. Also had an opportunity to um, draw my own token for this creature, which if uh, if you've seen the movie Slither, you know what this creature represents. There's a, a woman in that movie that uh, is basically, you know, this creature. And it's just, that scene just is pretty disgusting. You, you just have to see the movie. It's hilarious. Uh, it, it, it is a comedy slash horror movie. And it's just very, it's, it's, it's very worth worth your time to to watch so um again slither thanks it's by james gunn you know check it out um i'm sure it's on cable or uh, or you can probably rent it somewhere for fairly cheap all right so anyway that is my uh campaign diary for my the fourth session of my campaign um basically a filler episode the next session they the uh, PCs are actually headed into the Confederacy of Nine Cities, and this is uh, really where I start to pick up some steam on my campaign and get the um, you know get the ball rolling on the Mother of Monsters. Um, so uh, you know that uh, that starts with uh, session five. So anyway, um, we'll get to that in another video. Just wanted to do a, a quick and dirty one on uh, this campaign or this, or this session uh, mission accomplished so with that i'll go ahead and wrap this up give you some time back in your evening and once again just say uh, thank you for watching and um you know as they say in all those other uh cult uh, ceremonies uh hail to the king baby <laughs>